you very much, Evan Ellis. We continue on the Domino's postgame report. I'm Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman head football coach Ken Sparks. Ken, congratulations. A wrap up the season in style uh, with a big win over the Tusculum Pioneers, 65-32. to 32. Uh, What did it take, especially in the second half, to surge to a win with 35 unanswered? Well, I think it took uh, getting off to a slow start before we ever – got out of our sleepwalk and started the second half. And, uh, uh, but boy, when we came alive, we came alive. And thank you, Lord, because uh, it was uh, uh, we weren't playing Carson Newman football at the beginning of the second half. Of course, give them some credit, too. <coughs> but uh, I sure am grateful for a group of guys that responded like they did and, and uh, continued to, to grow not only as football players and us grow as a team collectively, but – to see them grow uh, from from the heart out. And uh, I thought there's so many times that we played with heart today that uh, was so uh, critical for us. And uh, I saw a lot of guys lay their heart on the line out there today, and that was very, very encouraging to me. Fourth highest single game rushing total in Carson Newman history with 570 yards on the ground and came very close to something that's never happened before with two 200-yard rushers. Damian Baker with 197 yards. DeAndre Thomas, first Carson Newman quarterback with a 200-yard day since Alex Good. Wow. What about the job that those two did? Well, they did great. And, of course, you know, anytime you got somebody r running the ball for that kind of yardage, that means you got somebody blocking for them. Uh, not just somebody, but somebody's blocking for them. And I thought, uh, I thought at times we moved the line of scrimmage the best we have all year. And our wide receivers have, have been amazing how they're blocking for each other and the running backs, how they're blocking for each other. And so it was a total team effort and one that we're very, very grateful for. How do you it, look at the defense then? Uh, and I'll t need to do some research on this, but the second halves against Tusculum have been superb. At one point, you for forced four straight three and outs, forced them to turn it over on downs twice. What did it take for the defense to step up in the second half? Well, I just think they were tired of getting the ball moved on them. And, uh, of course, you know, give credit to the, to the coaches. You know, the offensive, defensive coaches worked really hard on game plan this week. Of course, you know, game plan, that's all it is, is a game plan. Uh, it has to be executed, and it has to be executed by people that's playing on the field. And uh, so I thought that was a group of kids that really responded to what coaches were asking them to do this week. You presumably, we don't, we don't know anything yet until Sunday at 5 p.m., but presumably this put you in the NCAA playoffs. Uh, what's the approach from this point on uh, looking to continue, I guess, a second season almost? Yes, and uh, I'm going to surprise you by how we're going to get ready to do this. Does it involve blocking and tackling? We're taking Monday off. Yes, yes, we are. All and, right, uh, then. The, we, uh, that gives the coaches a chance to – now we're going to run a little bit tomorrow and lift a little bit tomorrow and have a team celebration tomorrow and a little meal together, and we're going to have a great time together tomorrow. And then we're going to take Monday off and give coaches a chance to work on game plan. And Tuesday we'll, we'll gear it up and get ready to go. What does it say that this crop of Eagles is likely playing postseason football? Say it one more time. What does it say that this crop of Eagles is Oh, it's is a miracle. Like, like it, it's <laughs> almost a miracle. You know, it's uh, when we were, uh, what, three and two? Mm -hmm. Did you think we were going and, and got and got embarrassed over at Lenore Ryan, and uh, and uh, and then to be here, what nine and two, and uh, with an opportunity to be in the playoffs? Uh, what can I say? Except uh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Ken Sparks, pleasure as always. Congrats oh, thank on the win. You. I appreciate it. That is Carson Newman, head football coach. Ken Sparks.